Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. And, uh, you know, for anyone who knows, I have my favorites, you know, it's like kids. And, uh, you know, uh, I haven't said on Radio Entrepreneurs, but I just came back from a massive travel to another end of the planet. And the world is changing. It's changing dramatically before our eyes. And I like to check in every week with the fabulous Mark Z from Mark Z Legal Staffing for my Mark Z moment, because nobody is got their finger on the changing landscape of professional services firms more than Mark Z. So welcome back, Mark. And maybe you can help me try to figure this out. Thanks, Jeff. Well, well first of all, welcome back. It was great um, um, to be working with Jonathan when he hosted, but um, there's only one and only Jeffrey Davis. So it's great to, uh, to have you back. And um, um, I hope you had a uh, really enjoyable and wonderful trip. Well, I will say one thing to our American listeners, and we have more than American listeners, and that is, I think everybody should travel the way I did, because we are so lucky here in the United States. We don't understand how much freedom we have, even when through other democracies, just how much freedom we have and luck we have. And I think, you know, complaining and unhappiness is a very big part of our culture and change, but we're very lucky here. And we have a very special opportunity in this country to have a sense of individual freedom that you can't get anywhere else in the world. And uh, I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to see you again. But Mark, you know, one of the things we've seen over the last four years, five years, is the landscape of change just continues to be unrelenting. Uh, it's an unrelenting uh, shadow over all of us that every day the landscape of change is happening. The way service firms are, are working have to change every day because our clients are changing every day and right. the economy is changing. And it must be for you uh, a constant source of anxiety because you're the one helping these people have the right people. And so the definition must change every week. Right. I mean, it it has been a continuing changing landscape in the employment space. For example, we talk about um, remote. We talk about in office. Um, we're now at a situation where a lot of firms and, and um, companies really want people back in the office and really good candidates really don't want to come back in the office. They'll compromise in some way on um, on a hybrid situation, but what's hybrid to a firm, for example, we have a search that we're just beginning um, where the firm will have somebody work at home one day a week, whereas the person wants to work um, from home at least two days a week. And each side is not budging, and that changes the landscape in terms of, of open talent coming to certain firms. Um, well, another, another area, I'm sorry, go on. Well, again, I think, you know, one of the, I'll go to the most simplistic thing. I think through COVID, employees who never thought they had an option now realize they have an option and they right. realize they were more productive. And I think the whole world is sick of traffic. <laughs> right. Just, nobody wants to put their car or get onto a train and sit in traffic for an hour and a half. Right. Twice a day. Right. So another trend, um, which is another good point, is a lot of, um, a lot of companies and and people in the suburbs don't mind coming into the office in terms of that. I mean, those firms will still or companies will still still do a hybrid situation, but some in um, some firms and companies have been operating after a short time of the COVID pause. Everybody in the office, at least significantly in the office, whereas. The downtown, going to downtown and that psyche, it's still a challenge. You have um, a lot of firms and companies reassessing, for example, their real estate. And they don't mind. They're saying, you know what, um, in order to get talented people to our firm, we'll compromise. In order to have partners still involved with our firm, we'll compromise. They don't even have to come in. We'll do hoteling. So what they're doing is as space and at, and um, comes available in terms of bringing down their space requirements when leases are up. Those are those are things um, firms and companies are seriously considering as far as going forward in the future. Well, I think real estate is going to drive 
a lot of the economic change that's going on, real right. estate and AI, because I know that most firms I know are downsizing their footprint because of uh, work. And that alone is going to change, you know, uh, the whole inner city business commercial uh, concept. And I think it's not easy for them to make change. And I, it happens with employees. As I said, the pressure is happening on both ends. And I'm sure you feel it when you're talking to staff for hiring, they're telling you who they want to work for much stronger than what they used to say. Right. And when you're talking to employers, they're saying, this is what we want. And, right. you know, somewhere it's really hard to match up culture and, you know, culture really more than ever beats strategy. You right. got to find people who are of like minds. Right. Another, um, another scenario um, involves billable hours. A lot of um, a lot of people want that balance, not only in terms of commuting um, into the office, but they want their balance of of hours worked, and that's something that um, some employers take note of and um, um, will say we're happy to have that balance. But obviously, um, you're not going to be paid as much. But these are the balance that some people are saying. You know what? I'll I'll take a um, a lower compensation package as long as I have more flexibility and less billable hours or less um, of an obligation to be in the office or um, work as many hours. Well, I know I have a business partner, as you know, you've met him many times. We both have always had that philosophy. Uh, owning our life has always been more important than an extra paycheck. And, right. we, and we've always made those decisions uh, to our business detriment, but to our life's advantage. Right. And uh, it's something that I believe in strongly. And especially as I started with you earlier, as I've traveled, uh, the opportunity to work and be productive in America with a degree of self-determination is what makes America so special. Uh, Mark, if someone wants to understand more, an employer, an employee, how to get into a better fit, how do they find you? Well, first of all, go on to our wonderful Radio Entrepreneurs website, radioentrepreneurs.com. Google Mark Z, M-A-R-C, and the letter Z. Go to Mark Z Legal, M-A-R-C-Z-L-E-G-A-L, and 617-338-1300. And for those of you who are Mark Z junkies like I am, Mark Z will be returning next week on Radio Entrepreneurs.